We heard it from Vancouver last week. The housing market keeps on roaring. Today, we're hearing the same from the other hot spot in the country. Toronto registered another month of rising sales and prices. Jeannie Lee joins us now with more. So it may be cold outside, but the housing market is hot in Toronto. You know, prices are breaking records that they just set a month earlier. It's what's going on in Toronto, Andrew. And it kind of feeds on itself, where there's a sense that, hey, prices can only keep on going up. So you have that, you have a relatively low number of fresh listings, and you have that mortgage war that got started, where you can get a five-year mortgage for 2.79% or less, and you can cue the march of the buyers. Here's what we mean. Last month in Toronto, sales were up 11% from a year earlier. The average price, about $614,000. That's up 10% in the year. But look at detached houses, the holy grail of home ownership. 1042000 and change. That's up even more than the overall average. So really spiking the uh, overall uh, price uh, with, with these detached prices. And just to give you an idea of how quickly prices are moving, I found this, and I tweeted out this morning, a poster, a relatively new ad uh, campaign by Manulife, citing the average detached house price in Toronto at 934000 Well, that's already outdated by $108,000. <laughs> so when people say their houses are making more money than they are, well, in this case, it's true. But, you know, that's still a relative bargain compared to Vancouver, where we know a detached house costs on, on average $1.4 million and uh, rising. And sales there are actually up 54% from a year earlier. All right, so it's not surprising what we heard about first-time buyers and how they're managing to get into the market, right? Yeah, they can't do it. A lot of them can't without the help of mom and dad. And that is from Genworth, which works with a lot of these first-timers who need mortgage insurance. It surveyed about 1,800 of these first-time buyers, and here's what it found in terms of those who need a helping hand. Across Canada, more than a quarter of first-time buyers got an outright gift or a loan from their families, even more, of course, in the priciest markets. You need a lot more help. Uh, rises to 35% of buyers in Toronto, 40% in Vancouver. And these are just the people who will admit to it because anecdotally, we've heard much stronger numbers from real estate agents who are on the front line of these sales and, and other experts uh, because it's not something you necessarily want to broadcast when you need that help. But we know that it has to happen because who can come up with $90,000 with the job market, the high student debt, and everything else that's standing in the way for first-time buyers?